Hi, welcome everybody. Uh, today we're gonna uh, play a game again. Uh, this is not a this is not a new game. Uh, I actually talked about this before. So this is a uh, Warp's Edge uh, from uh, Renegade Games Studio and uh, a game by uh, Scott Emst. Uh, I hope I pronounced that wrong, right. So it's a solo hero series. So it's a uh, very very suited for solo games. So uh, I'm gonna play alone, obviously. So um. Uh, I already followed the rulebook, so if you take a look at the rulebook, uh, there's certain things that needs to be set up and this can be found easily on uh, this page, game setup on uh, page 10. Follow through all this to get the various components up. Uh, I will not talk about the rules much again because I assume that you either have watched uh, or something like that. Then uh, you know, I'm just going to go through the gameplay but I'm uh, going to explain the rule a little bit. So we have all the white borders one which actually is a very nice touch, those are all your starting tiles. Uh, we add one of the LT, which is the yellow one, into our bag. So this is a this is a very nice bag that they provided. Okay, so this uh, all this goes into the bag where we get to draw them uh, for our for our game. Okay, so it's a bit hard to do with one hand because my the other hand is uh, actually holding the camera. Yeah, I don't really have a good camera uh, fixture yet, and uh, I'm still using uh, my phone to do all the videos. Isn't that really amazing, right? Maybe I should run a patron to ask for equipment. Nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> okay, so so anyway, I already capsulized. I uh, also got to put all my stuff into the token. Uh, so the, as you can see, this is the this the layout is a little bit different from the normal ones. I'm not saying normals. I mean this is not at normal, but it's just you know I'm used uh, the tokens to do it. And how we how this game works is that um, there is a P O W E R. There's five powers, uh, which you get to load out depending on which ship you use. So this is my ship. And the P-O-W-E-R has, has different type of uh, tokens. So my LT is the Warhammer. Okay, so if you want to know what the Warhammer does, the Warhammer is a very powerful weapon. It's uh, choose one enemy, we get to destroy the enemy and gain the reward immediately. So this is like, uh, you know, the ultimate weapon, one kill weapon. And uh, I chose uh, Achilles. Achilles is actually one of the, my favorite ship. So this ship, right, the, it has a very, very low shield and very, very low hawk. So actually total of four hit points totally only. So if the tree shield is down and it gets hit one more time, uh, the hawk is gone. Uh, what it does that we don't lose the game, you get reset, but we lose the whole one warp uh, cycle. And we are fighting against the Hydra. So the Hydra is a three-part ship. Okay, so if we have four warps all together to defeat him, difficulty two. Uh, so this is not the normal playthrough you will see where people play with the, uh, the level one boss. So this is the level two one. Uh, I hope I win and don't end up showing a negative demonstration. So uh, I already created the minions uh, or you know or the cards for the various so there's like four level one, four level two and four level three all stacked up nicely here. Okay. So the ability of this this uh, hydra I will go through a little bit. So what it does is that there's three components, but each of the co only the central components uh, will attack you for two damage. But they each have a special ability. So the one of the abilities is that repairing shield only uh, only heal one instead of two. So if you take a look at my ship here, so every one shield that I use, I get to repair two, uh, two. I mean one uh, energy, I get to repair two shields, sorry. So um, what this does is it nerfs it. So one energy only uh, repair one shield, okay? And the other thing is that um, the level one enemies, right, which is all the yellow color one, which you will see right away, uh, require either one additional uh, lasers and also uh, one additional maneuvers to, uh, to evade. So that means that uh, the level 1 enemies actually uh, kind of make more difficult and um, we can actually uh, stun them to, in order to remove this uh, this portion of it. But also that it also says that the mothership has uh, one section that only can be uh, defeated by energy which is this portion. This portion cannot be stunned by energy. I mean obviously when you put energy here right you try yeah so but it can be stunned with lasers and maneuvers so just bear that in mind. And uh, the mothership can attack and be attacked uh, all round so that we don't need to clear the minions before we go for this ship. So that's uh, good and bad. But that means we have uh, two damage to deal with every turn, irregardless of whatever minions we get. Okay, and before we start, we get to do, choose uh, two, um, two powers. So let's see what we get. We get the old necklace, which ignore all the mothership attacks and ability. Oh man, I think I love this. We have to have this. What's the other one? We draw three tokens from the back and add them to your pool for one energy. Oh man, this is also very good. What are we going to do? We have such great cards. 
right at the start. Oh, but I think it's important to navigate to navigate the due to this ability is really really annoying. Okay, so what happened to this is this goes right at the bottom. There's no chance you will appear in this game again because we only have four warps. That means we only need to be drawing eight cards in total. Uh, unless there are other abilities that triggers it. But anyway, we will see all the level one enemies. Okay, so level one enemies are all uh all with this and they are yellow in color. You know, so we have the Scout one damage, the Venom two damage. Um, sorry for the reflective because I will sleeve all my cards. So we also have the Viper one damage, and uh, we have this. Uh, this so this one has some text here. So this is the River. The River at the end of each turn, you discard any lasers that is. Uh, that means we we don't use three lasers to destroy in this turn. Any lasers will be uncounted at the end. So this is usually more. We usually try to defeat it using the maneuver. Okay. So let's do this. We are going to draw our five tokens. Let's see what we get. We got two of this. Two of this. Oh, Warhammer came out. Okay, so we have we have come some energies. So energies are good. Um, but we don't have a lot of things that actually negates uh, you know, the enemy's attack. So let's take a look what are we what are we facing right now. Okay. So so this um Ignore all the attacks. So by spending one energy, okay, we ignore all the attacks and restriction, which is actually very good because this ship does two damage to us if we don't do so that. So that uh that solves the mother ship's problem. Um we shall use this to destroy the most powerful enemy here so that we can gain some um we gain some uh so the most powerful is only two at the moment. Unless we want to go for three, then we get one P. But we get draw three tokens if we destroy the viper, and I think that could be what we want. But we could always save it later because we still have a two le level two lasers. Level two lasers is more than enough to take out the viper, right? Isn't it? Yeah. So we shall do this. So level two lasers take out the viper, and we get to draw three tokens. Okay. So by drawing more tokens we have a chance that we will actually draw something useful so that we can finish up uh, more at this round so what we have is uh, we have two maneuvers and we also have uh, one more lasers so do you think we can actually like take out one of the enemies uh, thing maybe not this round because we are still pretty weak we need to probably buy up more stuff in order to you know like really do some damage and uh if that is the case should we just destroy this because this requires three lasers or two maneuvers we actually have two maneuvers and we get to draw another three tokens but we get to fill the bag actually so if we fill the bag and uh we don't have three i think that triggers the end of the war if you're not wrong oh we exactly have three if you're going to do that that's going to end our war so i'm not sure whether we want because uh in each war we want to try to build up our energy so that we can get uh, you know more powerful tokens. I tell you what, with three energies, we'll buy we'll buy something first. We'll buy the three lasers. Okay? And uh, we can see the cost here. Okay, so it's three energies. We buy this, this gets put into our puts in our pool. Okay. That kind of makes more sense because uh we can actually uh, try to kill somebody. We should kill somebody. And let's see what we get. For the scout, we only get a one laser, which is uh, not very useful. Uh, if we kill this guy, we get a power O. Which is not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, we get kill this, we get a P. I tell you what, I think let's do this. We'll kill him and get P. Okay. So we get rid of this uh, river. We get P. Uh, let's see where's our power P. But our power P is uh, is this. So we can refer to no, this not. The power is probably listed in here. Okay. So let's see what's that. So this is it. So this token uh, put between two adjacent target it counts as a two laser against both targets. Okay. So this is actually pretty good pretty good so it gets put into the back okay so that that actually brings our back to five tokens if i'm not wrong yeah okay 
So we still, so we negate the damage, we still have to worry about the damage from these two guys. Um, we could, uh, do you want to take out this guy so that we can get one energy? That sounds, that sounds possible, right? Saving the, so we take, we use one energy, we take him out, okay. So it is gone and we get a, we get one energy. Let me just confirm that is a, yeah, that's a level one energy. Okay, we get one level and one energy into our bag, okay. And uh, we still have this left for this guy. So we're not going to be able to take him out, but we will be, be able to go and stun him. So he doesn't have any special ability. We shall stun him using one laser. Okay, we we'll keep this. So there's this thing called the the store, the hole, which actually we can actually hold one token for next round. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So actually we didn't manage to take any damage because we stun him and then we negate the ability from the boss using our special card here. Okay, so this gets a move here because it's still counted even uh, the next round. And this actually like that. If I'm not wrong, this is the third slot enemy right so we actually get to uh recharge back the the various slots okay because i shifted it for the camera just now uh and then uh, this get used up okay we get you get refresh and we get to draw five more tokens actually we will probably only get five more tokens because it doesn't seem like we have a lot more in there three four five there's actually one more token inside but that means that whenever we are uh, unable to draw anymore, you will end the walk. Okay, so we must try to uh, you know get as much uh, possible. But I don't think we will take out any of the components of the boss uh, right now. Okay, so this is unfortunate. But um, let's see what we're gonna do. We are going to uh, since this does two damage to to two targets. Okay, this this is only two damage. We should be able to take him out. Uh, but this is five damage. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot, and we'll probably be able uh, unable to do that. Do we really care about you know like uh, negating the boss uh, ability? Okay, but we we know that we are not going to get another round. It doesn't matter if we get destroyed uh, in this round because our ability is that we can actually uh, regen back again. So what we are trying to do instead uh, is we were trying to um, get as much uh, ability as we can uh, ability tokens. To uh to get to the next to get to the next round and uh you know future, so what we're gonna do is that since this really have one damage, we're gonna use this anyway to uh, negate the boss uh, ability because this is really this one uh, require one more laser one more maneuver, which actually is a uh, pretty sickening, so we put two lasers here. I mean two lasers here. So I put one here, so that effectively destroy destroy these targets. Okay. And finally, we will be able to get uh, the O power, which is uh, this one. It's outmaneuver two targets. So this one uh, is like the like the like this, but it does a uh, one maneuver to both targets on the side. So we put this into our bag. Okay. It'd be good to actually take this out because we can draw three more tokens. But unfortunately, we don't have the kind of uh, arsenal. What we have is uh, we have a uh, two maneuvers here. Uh, and this actually does uh, two damage, so a bit unfortunate. Two damage not going to do anybody any good. Uh, also not going to do the boss any good. Also, so supposedly we put this to stun this guy. Uh, so two damage each. Um, one damage to actually stun this guy. Okay. So these are the this card. Okay. And um, actually we got two maneuver here. Got one maneuver here. One maneuver here. But. Two maneuver is not going to take anybody out. Wait, it does. We can take this guy out. I think let's let's do that because we are trying to get as much token as possible. So, so this guys get takes out, get takes out. Okay, so this is gone. Um, we get a level two energy, which is pretty good because uh we're going to need energy eventually. So level two energy here. Yeah. So the 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 boss is pretty well balanced. We need some energy to destroy him we need some maneuver to destroy him and we need some lasers so maneuvers is something that i think we don't really have a lot and we need to really like build out the maneuvers because we're going to need uh four maneuvers okay so despite anything uh 
let's say we let's say we take the damage uh, there's only two okay two shields okay uh, then these two is kind of a stun because we have the we have laser shooting at them uh, the boss is actually nerfed because uh, we use this card so in a way this get resets okay so the, the this is still there to to remember that we did two damage to both of them but we wouldn't have five tokens to draw anyway so that ends the warp for this round so unfortunate we have to move the warp one round okay and anything done to the boss is reset all the tokens get uh get reset the bad guys get reset so we get to uh, we get all the discarded uh minions and then we shuffle them so there are a few level twos uh there's a few level ones here so they will they'll continue coming to appear and we probably won't still haven't get to the level three which is all the four cards here so that means we actually uh, effectively got all the level one and level twos which could spawn this round okay and now we recharge this back our shoe because that's the ability not really the ability it's like you know how the walk works okay and uh, we put all this back into the bag okay so while doing that as well let me just put this down so that i have both my hands on work uh so what happened is that uh, we also get to draw one more ability cards uh choose one or two okay so we let's see what we get we get this first one uh faithful laser laser token you assign count as double this is until the end of the turn which is pretty good we have this one um uh, prevent all damage this turn which is also good but it also costs two more but i think we need this because the boss has really seven lasers right now we are nowhere near there so i'm gonna take the faithful lasers so hopefully we get the we get the level three laser out and then uh you know with some help we're gonna take him out this turn at least take out the central portion which uh, does us uh, some serious damage with a uh, two okay so we let's draw the four minions that we will be fighting oh there's really one level two enemies out here two level two enemies and that one does three damage oh man this is really bad we have three level two enemies and one level one enemies let's hope our five uh, tokens is powerful let's hope so one two three four oh my god i only see a lot of energies what is this We don't really have a lot of things to stun the bad guys. Okay, what we do is we're gonna spend one on this. Okay, uh, this will this will cause us to negate all the boss attack, so the so we can safely ignore the boss. Um, and then we have this second ability, which actually we just got is actually to uh, lasers is double if we are willing to spend two energies. But we didn't have one laser, it doesn't make sense. Does it make sense? Unless we want to take this out. No, I think let's save it because we really want to like take out this guy because this would do us three damage. I think regardless, this should not be a difficult choice. We'll take him out. Okay. Uh this will give us give us a P. Which is another one of this. Okay. But taking this guy out has a has a uh, it allows us to draw three tokens, which actually is pretty good. So I'll tell you what, why don't we just do it anyway? So we will use this two energy here. Okay, that will double our lasers, which is uh, one laser equals to two. We take the viper out. The viper is gone. We don't get any additional tokens, but it does let us draw three more tokens. Let's see what we get out of these three tokens. Okay, we get three tokens. Okay, so we have a uh, out maneuver. Out maneuver can be used to uh, cost one maneuver damage. Which actually this guy has two. It's good to out maneuver him. Um, and let's not forget we had actually activated this. So this actually does this do double damage. I was wondering, does this do double damage, or is it just purely lasers? What do you guys think? We could uh, like you know put this in between and then uh you know 
so we do one one maneuver damage and uh, two two uh, laser damage to both of them. I mean, this will be for the next round. Oh wait, but actually, there's actually an empty slot here. So you know, by just imagine that this doesn't apply to both of them. I mean, that's the problem, right? So why don't I just stun him with one laser? This will be good enough. Uh, I mean, effectively, it's two lasers. Uh, and with one energy. What I could do is, uh, remember I said that we need to buy more maneuvers? Yeah, we should need to buy more maneuvers. So I'm going to buy that one maneuver that we might need eventually. And the one maneuver goes into the back. Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep this for next round. That's my plan. Okay, so nobody's doing our dam damage because we managed to stun them. So the, the standard damage goes up. Okay. And, um, And that is the end of the round. Yeah, so we didn't manage to do a lot. Okay. But what it's going to do to us is that it's going to give us, draw us two enemies out, which is the level one ones, which we actually kindly expected them to. Uh, we get to draw five tokens this round again because we didn't take any damage. So one, two, three, four, five. And it really sucks because we didn't get any of the energies where we need to trigger this. Oh my god, we need to really kill somebody in order to get some energies. Uh, so, looking at this, the only one that will let us draw more tokens is actually this guy. Which needs 5, uh, five energy, I mean 5 damage to... It will take us all of this to take him out. Yep, it takes us all of that to take you out. Either that or three maneuvers, which we only have two. Let's see, let's see. He already have one damage. So if we if we put this in between, that will do like uh two damage to both of them. So that is like one, two, three. We only need two more, but we don't have two more, we have to use this. Uh let's do that. Okay, so this is done. Uh, this pass to him. Uh, so we take out the Marauder. Let us draw three. Hopefully we get some thing good out of this three because we are to so totally screwed. Okay, so we have a uh, two. This will let us uh, double our lasers, which we don't really need this two this turn. We are more worried about having to stun the enemy. So we have to put this here so that we can uh, you know negate the negate the uh, things that the boss does to us okay um, and we still have one more power this power to do we can use this here so this uh, do two damage to both of them so two will take this guy out okay effectively not this guy though this needs five okay but it's easier to take him out with uh, two maneuver though so we will do settle that later uh, okay, so anyway, I will use this here. Uh, you take this guy out. So I remember this, this stays with him. Okay. Uh, and we get uh, one level 1 lasers. Okay, it's better than nothing. Level 1 lasers. Going to the back. Okay, so we have uh, 2 damage. Wait. Isn't 2 damage taking these guys out as well? Why did I not realize that? So two damage takes it out. Okay. Did I play anything wrong? No, right? Don't think I play anything wrong. Okay. So two damage also takes him out. Ah, I can't forget why did I kept that two damage here. So we get an O for this. This guy the O. Okay. So he divide the venom is also out. Uh, and now we only have left with this guy, which partially damage. Um. We don't have enough energy to activate the double lasers. So maybe we should invest some lasers uh, onto the boss. Let me see if I still have enough 5 tokens inside. I mean we can feel number of uh, tokens inside. But we are not allowed to like you know, pick at what tokens left. I think I only have uh, 4 tokens left. Which is not enough for next round. We will we will skip to the next, next warp if that's the case. Which is actually pretty bad for us. 
So what it means is that right, we should try to use all our resources to try and take this guy out in order to gain some some uh, energy. So what we could do is uh, since this do two damage, we can um, we can bump it out of five damage. Okay, totally take this guy out. That will give us a uh, one one maneuver as well as um, restore three shield. But then, either that or we try to... Um, no, I think one maneuver is not really very good in this sense. Why don't we do it the other way? We use the maneuvers to take him out. Okay. Actually, we only even need one maneuver because he already got now one here. So two maneuvers is, is all that we need to take him out and we get a level 2 energy. Level 2 energy seems to be a lot better than uh, having that one. Anyway, we are not injured. We probably don't need... Don't need that. And guess what? Because we have placed some additional tokens into our deck, I think we actually have five tokens left. Wow, isn't that fantastic? But we have like so many of these and we have to discard them at the end because our hole only allowed us hole one. Um, so the, the, the sense is to keep this because this is the highest. And we will apply the rest of the damage to the boss anyway. Okay. Trying to do whatever damage we could. Yep, so we will brush all the... And then we will draw the 4 cards. So I think this one may turn out with some level 3 enemies. So this is a really bad because some 2 of the... We will totally be destroyed this round, trust me. But we will try to try to get uh, some some damage done in tokens. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep. 5. And it really kind of sucks. We don't really have a lot of very powerful stuff going on here. Okay, so that get, this get restored. Um, so the thing is that we have two maneuver damage on the boss. We can't use this on the boss, right? Not that I know of. Hmm. I don't think we can use the grey ones on the boss per se, so they are like strictly you must have to be using the the appropriate uh, ones on it. So it doesn't look like we have uh, anything enough to take our boss because this is 7. Uh, even with this add-in, we don't really have the ability to do that. So we will concentrate on uh, and we don't really have uh, another 3 tokens left. In fact, I think I have 0 tokens inside. So triggering this doesn't help us it's going to end the turn in fact. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to uh, maximize what we can with whatever we have here in order to gain some um, get some uh, useful tokens. So maybe one of the things we want to do is that we will spend three of the three of the energy. We will buy a level three lasers, hopefully enough to uh, take out the boss on the next turn. Okay. And then um, we have one laser left, which we are not going to do any, any good to anybody because it's the end of the warp anyway. So it doesn't matter who we place it. And also one maneuver. Uh, actually, it's two maneuvers because we can put this between two guys. Um, we might be able to take out somebody. Not the two level trees. We are able to take out one of these. So one of them will go in between. And we can apply one more maneuver to this to. So we apply to, to this guy and we get a level 2 energy. Right, so this this makes more sense to us. Okay, so, so actually we wipe this guy out, okay, yep, and uh, and the damage is uh, in a way enough to even kill us before we even get the chance to, and wait, wait, we're still not done yet, we still have this, we should use this before, before, before we get, uh, you know, push out. So if we spend all of this on this guy, we can get a P and we shall do that. Okay, we shall do that. We get one more P. Okay, that goes into our back. Wipe this guy out. Okay, so we have, we'll take a lot of damage. Uh, maybe let's read this favor text here. It says that the enemy does one damage to my heart, which actually instantly kills me, actually. Because that's exactly only one. So this is kind of like the ship killer for the Achilles. Okay, so, so whatever happens, uh, there's way more than enough damage. 
uh, my ship is destroyed and when it destroyed it triggers the next warp so this is what happened the all this get resets because the the warp actually kind of like uh you know goes back in time i think uh we get to shuffle all the cards which unfortunately there's only two level three uh cards left so all the rest uh, actually goes into um, into the discard pile and shuffle um okay so if we are lucky the level three cards will actually turns out to be the first four ships that actually appear which i i strongly hope so not so okay hopefully not okay so uh we get to put all our you know all the tokens back into the back okay we have a lot of tokens already okay so i hope some of these tokens help us and um it doesn't help that this is really the third warp and then we haven't destroyed anything yet which is uh really bad really really bad but the good point is uh you know we get to draw one more card one more card uh, one more ability cards and let's see what we get ah we get this uh return three token from the discard to the back pretty good i like this uh cleaner box steve and we get a refresh one exhaust skill set so this is not so important let's get the cleaner board that will uh bring us some of the tokens back into the back especially the terminator i mean not terminator the warhammer back back into the back which actually is uh, pretty powerful okay so let's draw our four minions okay so we have a one level two shit so the shit i'll read the favor text later okay let's see what does this so we know this guy is the is the destroyer for us because no if we don't if we don't evade him we're gonna die immediately if you do one to our hawk. Uh the ghost has no special ability. What does the shit does? The shit <clears throat> actually while well, this enemy is in play, all token cost one extra energy to buy. And this and this ability cannot be stunned. So it does means that we have to kill this guy ASAP. We didn't manage to, we didn't buy anything last round right not that i remember of uh and also this one you remember is that we're going to discard all the laser tokens uh if we don't manage to kill him this round okay so we will get to draw our five uh token this round hopefully it's something good okay one two three four five oh no 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 we get all the pretty lousy cards out so what we need to do is we need to concentrate on uh trying to draw more tokens that will be our strategy okay mm. what does this two tokens means i will need to refer to the to the rewards is this that says uh choose two token from the discard and put them back into the back not bad not bad but anyway, we will need to stun this guy, that's for sure. Um, we will use white energy on to negate the boss ability. Okay. So the so that the boss don't give us any problem this round. Okay. And now uh, we will use one laser to stun this guy because otherwise he will kill us. Okay, so what we really need to do is uh know what else can we do about it, the rest, which they are pre all pretty powerful. I don't think we can do a lot to a lot of people and this costs more to buy so maybe we won't buy we don't get to buy anything at all why don't i just dump the rest of the stuff but we will we will effectively take five damage if we don't do anything about these guys and five damage is uh way more than enough to you know, like take out our ship we only have like no four so what can we do we can stun the um, stun one more guy so that we um let's stun him okay so that we have we'll be dealing with four damage which is also enough to take us out unfortunately this is really a bad round does this mean that we will end this warp just like that let me see what else we could do with energy we are unable to do anything much we can recharge but we can't do that before we take damage and this uh this guys is two damage this guy is two damage which actually is devastating for us because we uh our ship is really weak i'm afraid this is this is all that we could do you know this looks really grim
Yeah, we don't have any maneuver this turn in order to you know like out maneuver any of these guys, which is actually just pretty sad. I think it's a bad draw and that really cost us. I couldn't think of any way out of this. Really, I couldn't think of any way out of this. We we got all the worst of the enemies in this one turn and we're totally toasted. Okay, so supposedly that happens and then you know we got we get roasted, we didn't get any reward at all. Um Actually if, if that was rather to happen, uh we still I'd rather we do something else. We double our lasers then. Okay, we double our lasers. Then we're not gonna stun anybody since we're gonna get roasted anyway. What we're gonna do is uh I'm gonna use my two lasers to try and get as much as I can. So if I put the lasers here, I'm gonna get uh four and I get the oh no, I ran out of P as well. That doesn't work for me. Yep, that doesn't work for me too. It seems like we are pretty stuck in a very very bad shit. Oh well, it doesn't it doesn't really matter then. So that's the end of the round. They have enough damage to wipe us out, and uh, you know that resets the warp. So we're going to the last warp now, and we still haven't destroyed any part of the of the boss. And this could turn out turns out to be uh, you know a negative demonstration of how to play warps edge and how to get your ass kicked by Warp's Edge. I'm pretty sure that will be the title if you know, I lose this part. And not if, I think it's very likely we'll lose this. Okay, so I get to shuffle these four cards. Hopefully they don't appear anywhere close again. So maybe maybe that's, that's my punishment for shuffling this off screen. Okay. Oh wait, what happened is that I already shuffled two of the, uh, two of the last balls in. Which actually shouldn't be the case. Okay, so fortunately I can I can identify this two has not appeared yet. So these two are here. They didn't get a chance to uh came out. Okay, so we shuffle the the rest in. Actually by right only need to shuffle all the discarded ones, uh, which are actually the top four. Which they will appear in the next round. Okay, but anyway, it's a bit too late, I really shuffle everything. So let's do the best we could. Uh we get uh, all the level ones. Okay, so so there they might be a bit of uh, you know, uh, divine that divine balancing done there that you know we shuffle the cards and those four doesn't appear. But this looks pretty bad as well. Right? And we get to draw two more um, two more powers and choose. But this is the last round, and I think I'm gonna lose. So you know, it's been great serving with you guys. So move one enemy for a row to the bottom of the deck. Not really important. Tokens you buy this round go directly in the pool. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we got our last ability cards. So let's see, we can take out the boss. So this round we will focus all on you know the boss. The boss. Okay, so five. So we see one very powerful enemy here, which is actually uh, the apocalypse. So I think the question mark, if I'm not wrong, means that we get uh we get any any uh that we want, right? Any token from supply. Which is good. Because if we do this, we get any of the of the thing that we want. And um uh, on top of that if we can uh, you can trigger this ability, the token goes right into our pool, not into our but to do that we need one maneuver, which we don't have. Okay, so Let's backtrack a bit and see whether we get so by if we destroy this guy we get a draw we get a draw like three um three tokens which actually we might be able to get a maneuver then so what do we need to destroy him? We need to destroy the maneuver with uh five or three maneuvers which we neither have What are we gonna do? This round may turn out to be a very very tough one and every decision we make is going to like um either do a break. So let's try our luck. We will do this. We'll wipe this guy out. 
So that allows us to draw three tokens. Okay. Hopefully those three will give us something that we need. Okay, not really, it's just more lasers and stuff. Okay. Um, we still can't trigger the ability because we need all the maneuvers. And actually not forget that this round we have to aim to destroy the boss or we are really toasted. So so the terminator I mean the warhammer doesn't work on the work on the boss. That was why I've used it on uh, some of the minions. So the boss has a uh, one that requires a uh, six energy. So we're gonna like do this, we're gonna stun this two, okay naturally. Uh we're gonna outmaneuver this two. Okay, so this will negate any of the uh negative effect on us okay um we could we could try to like destroy these two guys if we want to if we want to but uh i want to focus more on putting damages onto the onto the boss right now so i'm going to leave these guys around because i think it's good to have a uh, two level twos uh i mean level ones bad guys here and as long as we stun this guy he's not going to do us any damage so I'm going to spend my 3 lasers uh, here on the boss, effectively stunning that portion, doesn't do us 2 damage. And uh, I'm going to use my uh, 4 energies on here, okay, so hopefully that we get enough to destroy him in the next round. Okay, so nobody's doing else any damage this round, okay. Um, so we, we get to like uh, raise this here, so that I remember that there's one, oh wait, this is one maneuver done the scout actually is dead yep the scout is dead i forgot that will give us a level one level one uh energy okay which no not a lot but it's, it's uh, this one okay and this one has one maneuver on him okay this has two damage on him which nine is crazy okay so we move this up so remember this was from our last round uh, Two enemies get fused in, which actually is not very good news. Because what we are trying to do is not take damage and die before we damage, manage to take him out. So I'm going to draw like five uh, tokens here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have five tokens here. So what we really want to do is uh, we at least want to try to take out the, the boss. So the boss is a uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. So we need four damage, more four lasers more to take him out on this. And uh, I thought we should do that. We have uh, five lasers here. But let's see if we can draw more kill. If we kill anybody, we can draw more uh, more tokens because that will be useful too. So most of them like adding stuff. Yeah, most of them are like adding stuff. So doesn't quite help in that sense. Okay, so we're gonna use the five lasers here. Take out the central component of the boss. Okay. So this doesn't do us two damage. Okay. And uh and then there's only four here. We need two more energies to take this one out, which we only have one here, which is not enough. We will use this to um, <coughs> I'll use this to stun these two guys. I think so that it does two damage to both of them. If it makes sense. Okay. So we still end up taking some damage. Unfortunately. We can uh, so both of them does two damage to us. We can outmaneuver one one of them, or at least I can like destroy one of them if I want to. Yeah, I can destroy one of them. Okay, so this guy's destroyed. And I get a uh, as a reward I get one um one maneuver which I get to add to my back. Okay. So I get to keep one shield here. Okay, keep in the hole. And uh as a result I take two damage to my shield. Because there's this one guy shooting at us, okay. So everything gets uh gets move up. Okay, so we get to draw from the. So I'm a little bit worried about this guy because we need uh four maneuvers and uh, I'm not sure if we have enough maneuvers 
left. I mean, I really use up one maneuver uh, in my discard. We might have to use the, you know, the this uh, cleaner bot to put the maneuver back into our bag. So we have two maneuvers here. Okay. So it doesn't, it doesn't really um, say so, but I think the maneuvers have to really go into the, into defeating these guys. And that also did also uh, kind of like uh, remove that that portion about uh, oh forgot I need to draw one of this, so that means uh, he also negates this and we can take out the the reverse easily. Uh, so what we're gonna do is um, these two guys are really powerful. We need to put one more of this in between them to stun them, okay? Which actually is like uh, six damage to this guy. So not enough take out him. 4 damage to this guy, still not enough to take out him. Um, and then uh, we add one more energy to the boss because there's a 5 ready. Hopefully, we'll take him out next round. And between the two of them, we get to uh, choose one guy to kind of like uh, stun. So, this one, if we put the end and turn, doesn't count towards it. We must just stun this guy. Okay. We use this. We use this and, and remember we put one of this here so uh we actually negate we actually stun this ability so that let us heal with uh, one energy we got to heal two two shields okay so this uh so you're moving to the next turn uh this guy moves up okay and uh, this guy do us two damage so we got to reduce this two again Yep, uh, we're still looking good. We're still looking good. We still have our like, uh, we still need to draw five more tokens for the next round. Okay, so so we are going to finally do it. There's two maneuvers here. We will put the these two maneuvers in. Okay, that effectively destroy this this section of the ship. Okay, so all we need is uh all we need is one right two. Four, five, we need six, and there we have it. There we have it. There we have it. So this didn't turn out to be a negative demonstration after all. Yay! Although you know, in actual fact, if the boss is blown up, unless these guys decided to just retreat, we'll probably get blown up by the number of uh, sure damage there is on these two guys. Of course, we could like out maneuver this guy. You know, maybe, maybe you know we don't take any damage. Uh, like you know. Also, maybe kill this guy. We still take two damage. Guess what? We we'll probably still survive. So anyway, that's a that's a very very short playthrough. Uh, we didn't manage to use any of the some of the uh, power cards here, although we draw them. But anyway, uh, maybe I got some of the rules. Uh, you know, maybe wrong with a certain. So I guess it's just take this casually as it's supposed to give you a, uh, you know, a casual playthrough on the game. Uh, I mean, if you do one comments uh, on where I make a mistake, I'm sure I did. I uh, you know this is I'm not perfect. Uh, this I don't play this too often, but I hope you have enjoyed the playthrough with me of uh, Warp's Edge. And um, if you like, you can you know get the game. It's not very expensive. There's also uh, two expansion coming soon. One expansion really out. One expansion coming with the new Kickstarter. I hope you have enjoyed the playthrough with me, and I hope you have enjoyed uh, Warp's Edge with me. So uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the capsule next time when I have everything. Uh, sleeve so the problem is that you can see some of the capsules is still not sleeve because i ran out of capsules by the way these capsules are 25 mm capsules they fit very well so as you can see here that's exactly they don't really move so uh, this is one way to you know like deluxify without having to buy the acrylic tokens uh, but it's of course your preference the acrylic token will fit very well in all the so i'll talk about this next time when i talk about the whole boxing with the capsules and everything thanks for watching and uh, goodbye have a good weekend